I'm Insomniac and this is Caffeine and Hate by Black Rifle Coffee Company. Okay, today we are looking at Caffeine and Hate by Black Rifle Coffee Company. You probably gathered that by the intro already, didn't you? That is an awesome name for a coffee, Caffeine and Hate. That's something. Let's give you a close-up of the bag here. And just like the other Black Rifle Coffee stuff, it is black. Uh, very simple. There's your label, Caffeine and Hate. That's literally it. And then in the back, which I always appreciate, they give you just what you need, Black Rifle Coffee Company. I like the ingredients here, coffee, because exactly, that's it. So very simple, website at the bottom, just a simple black bag. Let's take a look at the beans. Let's open this up, I will give you a close up. Really nice, dark, somewhat oily beans there. Very cool. All right, well, let's see what this smells like. First thing I got out of the bag is a dirt and spice combination or spicy dirt or however you want to put that together. There's like a nice kind of spicy tingle and dirt, just like literal dirt. And there's an interesting kind of greens flavor in there. It actually reminds me of fresh green beans, not like in the can, fresh, straight out of the supermarket green beans. Then there was also a little bit of dark cocoa in there, like real dark kind of natural chocolate. And a tiny, tiny hint of sweetness. All right, well, let's brew some of this up and see what it smells and tastes like in liquid form. All right, well, we got some of this caffeine and hate brewed up. Uh, let's see what it smells like. Huh, kind of smells like the equivalent of a death metal song. It is dark, angry, and heavy. Like a thick, heavy mix of earth, dead leaves, and then you almost kind of have a sweetness, but not sweetness like sugar or syrup or something like that. It's just a really thick, heavy, Molasses, I guess, is the best way to describe what this aroma is, but with a little bit of a sweet edge. All right, well, let's see what it tastes like. First thing I notice actually isn't a flavor. It's kind of the texture of the coffee, or I guess it could most closely be related to the body, but either way, the coffee kind of coats the palate with the same thickness as a blanket. It's like somebody put a really small comforter over the roof of my mouth. Not necessarily in a bad way, it's just, it's thick. I get a lot of gritty earth and a really dark chocolate. By really dark chocolate, I mean like that 90 plus percent type. There's a bit of a toasted walnut in there. This coffee has huge body to it and no bitterness, which I find really, really impressive being that it just has the impression on the palate of being so thick and kind of feeling really strong. No bitterness whatsoever, so it's like, really heavy hitting in terms of the flavors and in terms of like the presence of you definitely know you're drinking coffee but no bitterness whatsoever that's pretty cool well this coffee is definitely not for everybody but i can tell you what if you like a coffee that is zero percent sweetness or sunshine but 100 percent badass you'll probably really like this coffee i enjoyed it very much uh, if you're looking for complexity or sweetness kind of light smooth not really gonna do it for you but if you want like a punch you in the face cup of coffee but without the bitterness and harshness that usually goes along with that type of coffee this is actually really pretty good if we're talking one to ten here uh, i'd say eight and a half 
Definitely an enjoyable brew. Well, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, share it, all that wonderful stuff. If you want to support the channel and see a lot more coffee reviews, I have a Patreon for Should I Drink This? It's the link at the top of the video description. Check that out, and I'll see you all at the next one.